All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, let's take a look at some of the branding that we've got going on here. Um, we've got an entire line of clothing we've come out with. Got uh, little thermals, men's and women's thermals. I've got uh, sweatpants with the logos on them. Take a look at di two different types of sweatpants. I've got uh, FlexiFit hats, including uh, the hat that I'm wearing. There it is right there. Isn't that nice? Uh, one of the really nice things that we've had made is dog tags. I've had dog tags that I've had made. Got these made over in China. These are super, super nice. They were pretty inexpensive to get made. I also had uh, these uh, bling bling, laser cut bling bling chains made. These are awesome. We're selling them between five and ten dollars. I had 500 pieces of each made over in China when I was over there and they just turned out spectacular. Isn't that great? How nice that is. Sorry it's a little blurry. Um, Really what I'm trying to do is just drive the brand home on a daily basis. We're selling lots of the clothes, we're selling lots of the necklaces. Um, you know, this is really something we're just trying to get out there. It's a great, uh, I, I consider this direct marketing. So uh, continuing to put this out and into the hands of people so every day when they wake up and they look on their little dresser, there's a little reminder of them for them where to go later. How's everybody doing? Sorry it's been a while since I got back to everybody. I've been working on a lot of projects. A couple of things that I've been working on are a couple of different leases inside of the uh, Portland area. I was down in Houston uh, with uh, MixPro. Had a great time coming down there, Bill. Thanks a lot. Things are looking really, really good. MixPro is doing a great job down in Houston with uh, Union Bar and Grill. And I want to say that uh, the two guys that you got down there, uh, the owners, uh, Nick and George, guys are doing a great job. Uh, I was happy to come down there and uh, help to be hope to be a part of you guys uh, moving forward in the future. Glad I could be of service to you guys. Um, a couple things I got going on here is uh, working on a lease back and forth with the landlord. And one of the things I'm finding out right now, and I think everybody's finding out, is that uh, landlords are still like back in 2005, 2006 with their uh, lease negotiation rates. Those days are come and gone. The days of the uh, huge booming economy and getting the $30 to $50 a square foot are uh, a thing of the past. Now with businesses uh, faltering almost every day, I'm finding restaurants and bars that are closing up shop, shuttering their doors, uh, falling farther and farther into debt. Uh, because when a couple of years ago it was you hold your hands out and money fell into it, now you've actually got to go out there and get the money. You've got to go out there and actually provide good customer service, have a good product to continue moving forward in the tough economic times that we're looking at. And over these next six to nine months, I think things are still going to be hard and, and, and everybody's really going to have to step up the game to continue to operate at a, uh, at a uh, profit. So. A couple things, I want to answer a couple questions here really quick. I got uh, Mike and uh, David. Both of them had a question about China. I just got back from China again. I think I was back there 45 days ago or 60 days ago. I just got back. Shanghai is still booming. Things are still moving. People still have a lot of money. There's a lot of liquid cash in uh, Shanghai. We put offers in at uh, three different locations in China. One in a city called Quinsan, also uh, two and two locations in uh, Shanghai. And I got to tell you what, it's kind of the same thing. You know, when we went in, there's a lot of people who are now starting to feel a little bit of the economic pinch. I wouldn't even say that they're, they're being as affected as we are over here in the States as things were still moving along. I mean, their idea of... Um, of nightlife and their social system is a lot different than ours so that's something I'll go into in a later video but uh, the economy over there is still doing good and like I said I put in a couple offers and you know things must not be that good because uh, they didn't take any of them so we're lowballing I gotta tell you what rent rates in Shanghai are absolutely ten times higher than anything you'll find here in the states I mean in the middle of nowhere rent rates are what you pay in Vegas almost in a uh, casino on the strip so it's pretty tough over there it's uh, not as easy as a lot of people think um, what else uh, you know I gotta I gotta say that right now with the economy the way it is dirty is still doing really really good anybody can is free to log on to napkin nights and check out just uh, click on Portland and you'll see how well the bars doing Thursday Friday Saturday our Wednesday is still doing really good with our Wonder Woman Wednesday promotion um, things are still going good for us. You know, we've seen the uh, standard downturn in the winter season that a lot of uh, markets see anyways. It's, uh, I'd say we're probably, you know, 10 to 15% off our numbers. Still doing really good. Um, 
couple bars and nightclubs have opened up in the area against us and we've had no effect whatsoever from them. You know, it's kind of the typical same old, same old. It's kind of good to know that a lot of people who are still opening up bars don't read my book. Oh my God, I'm not even going to go into that. So I've seen millions of dollars go into some clubs here and just, they end up with nothing. And, and I seriously, it's almost disappointing to me because I see these people dumping these millions of dollars and I have given them my book. And they are just, apparently they don't believe what I write and they are paying for it now. And these people are going to pay for it and probably with bankruptcy pretty soon too. It's going to be pretty ugly. You know, opening up these uh, big nightclubs in the uh, peak of the recession is not really a good, good plan. So we'll see what happens and in the winter on top of it. Um, I don't know. I'll get back to everybody later. Thanks.